Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing you some more fun drumming ideas. I thought we'd stick with the Led Zeppelin theme, considering I've still got the, uh, the beautiful kit set up. And we're going to look at that little bass drum triplety thing that uh, John Bonham did uh, so well and so beautifully in the track Good Times, Bad Times. I remember when I first heard it, I, think, I was thinking, I've got to learn that. And I was determined to do it without a double bass drum pedal, much like the man himself. So um, sit back, relax, I'll try and break it down as, uh, as, as best as I can, and uh, hopefully you'll get something out of it. Okay, so uh, here we go. <laughs> right, okay, so I'll just show you kind of what I'm on about. I'll do a few examples which I've taken from uh, Good Times, Bad Times, and um, I'll just put them together so you get a taste of what's to come. So here we go. triplets um, so while your right hand uh, as you're playing like a standard like if we just take uh, the basic you know your basic 4-4 four, four sort of rocky poppy groove and then all we're doing while your right hand's playing those eighth notes we're going to turn those into sort of 16th note triplets um, by shoving a couple of bass drums in between them okay and we count it like one and uh, no no sorry one triplet Challenging oneself. Okay, so I'll start off with the first example. This is a good, easy one to start with. I'll probably put it as the first one on the sheet music. And uh, what we're doing is we're putting, we're going to play one and two and triple, three triple, and triple, four and done. Okay, so you get this. the track actually uh, Bonham puts an extra bass drum on the end of four which will sound like this okay and after speed it'll sound like okay just try and relax I find sometimes I tense up a bit when I'm playing the hi-hat so it sounds a bit bit more stiff on there uh, and I'm constantly trying to sort of like, you know, I'm always adjusting, trying to improve myself. So just be patient with this one, it does take a bit of time. Um, uh, another one that he does, uh, this is probably the second uh, hardest one, um, although it's not that bad, but towards the end of the song you just hear it crop up once and he plays bass, bass, snare, snare, and he goes three triplet and triplet. So he pushes the snare drum just back a tiny bit onto the end of four. So you get this. Which I really like the sound of because it sort of just, it, like I said, it only pops out once so it really stands out on the track. Now there's another bit, uh, I think it's in like the third verse after he's done a guitar solo. He just goes absolutely ape with it and does it for about a bar and a half. And I'll try and play it without, well, I'll try and make it sort of and do it a bit of justice, and that sounds like this. That's a really tricky one to keep bang on and consistent the way he does. Um, but again, it's just a real good exercise, and you can start chopping and changing it and displacing where you want to start it uh, and things like that. 
So all I recommend, I mean you can just practice uh, just moving your right hand around the kit. I actually found it easier playing it when I was playing on the ride sim. Well of course in the track, uh, Bonham's uh, often using the cowbell. Um, so it depends where you have that position. But if you just want to sort of focus on the clarity of your bass drums, uh, if you haven't got a cowbell, use your ride cymbal. I'll just use the rim of the, the uh, floor tom here. So you're... That's another good one, just so you can make sure that you're doing everything right down here. And of course, it's really important to try and relax any time you get a split second where that particular limb isn't doing anything. Okay? So, right. I hope that helped guys, I know there's a lot of people like me that sort of when they heard that thinking what is it, has he got two bass drums, is he using a double bass drum pedal, but of course you know you sort of look into it further and you find out that was what he was known for, obviously I've known that for a long time now because it's quite a while ago that I got into them, but um, as far as sort of getting your bass drum technique down, that's a really good exercise and it sounds really cool too, so uh, uh, I hope you enjoy that, um, I'll be sticking a link to onlinedrummer.com if you want to get the sheet music for it with a couple more ideas. Um, of course, if you're watching that from there, you know, just to scroll down and you'll find it just below. Um, it'd be great if you could leave a comment. That's always brilliant. If you could actually sort of, you know, I'll tell you what, let me know your favourite Bonham drum beats, drum fills or Led Zeppelin tracks. And I'll see if I can churn out some videos um, relating to them or just picking out a few fills that you guys like uh, and trying to break them down a little bit. So, um, oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. That would be absolutely brilliant. Uh, obviously, if you subscribed already. Well, it's a good opportunity to hit that like button again, so if you could do that, that'd be great. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope that's helped a tiny bit, and I'll see you very soon. All right, see you later.